Give all honor and praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true holy beside the King of Kings, Royal Himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final of our true father, went West. This is Father King's Corp. Back at you yet with another lesson. Before I go farther in this lesson, let's attend to the lost sheep of the House of Israel, which consists of the so called African American blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indian descent. Indian descent. Um, Salakia, as well as the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations, because you're going to have Israelites to look like every nation under the sun, that they are scattered. It's not a color thing. It's based off the heritage of your father when you read the book of Deuteronomy. I mean, Slocky, the book of Numbers. All right. Yeah, I'm going to title this lesson. Um, the end of your world is the beginning of our world. Um, and that world we're referring to is Esau Edom. Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man today. I'm going to read the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. I touched on this the other day, but I'll touch on it again. It says, He said unto me, For Abraham and unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob held the hand, Slakia, Slakia, forgive me, Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of, that, of it that followed. Let me read it more clear. It says, He said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. So, what that's saying is that when Esau rulership come to an end, which is a, a vastly approaching the end now, like I say, no man know the time and day, but we could tell we're at the end of the world, of their rulership, Jacob will begin to rule. Let's get a second priest up real quick. And I'm going to close it out. I'm not going to make this lesson very um, long at all. I just want to get to the point. So this, when that's wickedness get overthrown by the king of kings, Yahweh Shah, then we're going to rule under Yahweh Shah, you know? Lord's will, we want to hope for a leg, you know? And this, this wicked rulership will come to an end, you know? All right. All right, I'm going to get the book of, I believe it's in the book of Ezra. No, I'm sorry, please ask it. My, my apologies. Haven't read this in a while, but I'm going to go ahead and touch on it real quick and I'm going to close it out. It says, because of unrighteous dealing, because Esau raped, robbed, murdered, stole us from our land, stole the, the, um, the our heritage, the, um, changed the Odyssey, meaning he changed the law statues. You know, for example, he, um, he changed... The Sabbath day from Saturday to the, whether it's Saturday or wh wherever the new moon falls on, he changed that day to Sunday. You know, he changed the times and dates, and the Sabbath falls on the new moon up around that time. You know, I'm just I'm just paraphrasing it just to give you an example of how they changed the time, um, like um, the New Year. Prime example, the New Year actually supposed to start in spring, but they change it and put it in smack dead of winter. So he's just you know. So because of unrighteous dealings and unrighteousness, sorry, because of unrighteousness, uh, unrighteousness dealings, unrighteous dealing, and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's what's <clears throat> it's going to be a reversal. We're going to get the kingdom in righteousness because the scripture said when the righteous are authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through the when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So when we get the kingdom, it's going to be a, a, a joy because righteousness will, will once reign supreme, and the wicked will be under the foot of our Lord, our King, our Savior, uh, our King of Kings, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And um, I hope this lesson very edifying. I try to wake up the hopeful elect out there or the brother select. Brothers and sisters that listen to our channel, we, we definitely appreciate you. Uh, much love be unto you. We definitely res uh, res uh, appreciate you and and much respect to you for the very audience, the very little small audience that listen to our channels. We want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, peace and blessings be unto you. To the hopeful look out there, please like and subscribe to keep pushing.